Hello children, I welcome you all in this yet another class of English for grade 6. Today this is a very very special class in which we are going to talk about a great personality from India. That personality is great because she did not just remain restricted to the boundaries of India, but her fame reached all the nations of the world and to American shores. She is none other than Kalpana Chawla, who scaled the heights of space where she went twice on manned missions. So children, before we go through the story of this great lady from India, who was not just an Indian, but she was an Indian American lady. It is important for all of us to know about the mystery of space. What space is? This is very important for us to know and how to reach there. So, to unveil this mystery, let us go on this journey. So, ok children, name me some of the things that you can see in the sky. Ok, let me tell you that there are many objects in the sky some of them we can see with our bare eyes, whereas others we cannot as they are very very far away from our earth. You can see the sun, the moon and the stars, but do you know that humans have always wanted to find and know new things about the space. And its secrets, so that we could understand it further. So, let us try to understand space. As you can see in this picture, in the first picture, there are many objects which you can see from the earth. And if you try to look at the space in the night, you are able to see that the clear sky has many stars and they are clearly visible to your naked eyes. In the second picture, you can see the earth's view from space. So, dear learners, space is the empty area outside the earth and we do not know how wide it is. It has numerous stars and planets in it, which look beautiful in the night. Countless stars and planets in many solar systems are situated in the space. So, space is the region beyond earth's atmosphere. In this picture, you can see the different planets which are revolving around the sun in our solar system. These are just a few of the objects which we can see in the space, but apart from them, there are many such hidden secrets which need to be searched and found. And for doing so, it becomes important for the humanity to visit the space. But do you know anything about visiting the space? as to who can visit the space and how. An astronaut wearing a space suit can visit the space by a spaceship. As you can see in the picture, there is an astronaut who is roaming around in the space in the first picture and in the second picture, the astronaut is standing on the moon. Both the astronauts are wearing a space suit. So, the space suit is a very, very special suit with which you can survive in the atmosphere of the space. On the other hand, the spaceship is a vehicle with which you can travel the space. It is different from an aeroplane. In the picture, you can see that there is a rocket on which 
the spaceship is mounted. The arrows clearly show you where the rocket is and where the spaceship is. The rocket carries the spaceship to the space after which the spaceship moves on its own in the space. So, if we may talk about the difference between a spaceship and an aeroplane, then it is important to understand that an aeroplane cannot be used to propel the spaceship out of the earth's atmosphere. The aeroplane cannot go out of the gravitational force of the earth, but on the other hand the spaceship has the ability to go out of the gravitational force of the earth and at the same time it can be used in the atmosphere outside the atmosphere of the earth. Now, let us talk about the astronauts who have gone out of the earth's gravitational force to visit the space. Do you know that there have been many astronauts from the world who have made it to the space and they have even landed their feet on the surface of the moon. Today, we are going to talk about a special astronaut from India, who not only visited the space, but made all the Indians proud. Today, we are going to talk about Kalpana Chawla. Kalpana Chawla is the only Indian American woman who has gone on space missions, not once, but twice. She was the only Indian American woman who went to space, this is a fact, but it is important for us to know about her early life. So, let me brief you about uh, the early life of Kalpana Chawla. Kalpana Chawla was born on 17th March 1962 in Karnal, Haryana. After a Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering, against great opposition from her father, who thought that she should not go for such a degree, because she was a girl. Still, she went for a master's degree to the United States of America. She later earned her PhD in Aerospace Engineering in America. Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian American woman astronaut to blast off from the launch pad at Cape Canaveral, Florida and participate in a successful mission in space. She was a naturalized US citizen married to flight instructor Jean Pierre Harrison. Besides being an astronaut, she was licensed to fly single and multi engine land airplanes, single engine seaplanes and gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor. After qualifying as a pilot, Kalpana began to consider another challenge, applying to NASA's space shuttle program. She was first hired as a research scientist at NASA. In 1994, she was selected by NASA for training as an astronaut. When asked what it was like being a woman in her field, she replied, I really never ever thought while pursuing my studies or doing anything else that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. I pretty much had my dreams like anyone else and I followed them and people who were around me fortunately always encouraged me and said, if that is what you want to do, carry on. So, such were the words of Kalpana Chawla, who never thought that she belonged to a 
small city she belonged to a country which was a developing one she belonged to a race of women who had never been to the space and most importantly a woman from india as a native so this way it was really a great contribution by kalpana chawla who went to space twice now let me tell you about the space missions undertaken by kalpana chawla kalpana's first space mission in the space shuttle columbia was 15 days 16 hours and 34 minute long during this mission she went around the earth for 252 times traveling 10.45 million kilometers isn't it a very very long journey that was undertaken by the crew the crew included a japanese and a ukrainian astronaut the crew performed experiments such as pollinating plants to observe food growth in space and tests for making stronger metals and faster computer chips all for a price tag of about 56 million dollars these experiments were very important for improving the quality of life life back on earth and the crew members conducted them being in space it was certainly a challenging mission which all of these crew members accomplished in a very nice manner during her second space mission in an unprecedented space tragedy us space shuttle columbia which was carrying indian born american astronaut kalpana chawla and six other astronauts broke apart in flames as it streaked over texas towards its landing strip on saturday february 1 2003 it killed all the seven astronauts on board the shuttle lost contact with nasa at about 9 am as it came in for landing it was flying at an altitude of over 2 lakh feet and it was traveling at over 20000 kilometers per hour speed when ground control lost contact with the shuttle columbia had lifted off on 16 january 2003 from the kennedy space center florida it had stayed in the orbit for 16 days and the seven member crew had conducted 80 experiments before it began its downward journey which unfortunately ended in this great tragedy this was columbia's 28th space flight and the shuttle was said to be good for 100 flights but this flight became the last flight not only for the shuttle but for all the seven crew members as well on saturday night when the news about the columbia disaster broke there was a great shock and disbelief not only in america but in india as well the people were not able to believe what they had just heard the town of karnal where kalpana chawla was born spent a sleepless night as thousands of households stayed glued to their television sets in the hope that kalpana and her crew had somehow survived a journalist wrote she was a heroine it takes 
enormous ability to become an astronaut. You need to know a lot about everything from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering. In this age of super specialization, you must have encyclopedic knowledge to be an astronaut. Her achievement is awe inspiring. These words really are a testimony to the fact that Kalpana Chawla had achieved a great thing in her life. It was a great height to which she had reached. She had achieved all these things, all these heights through her hard work and labor. She had worked very hard in order to gain all the knowledge and expertise which was required to become an astronaut. For millions of young Indians, the story of Kalpana Chawla, a girl from a small town who touched the skies had become an inspiration. In a message that she sent from aboard the space shuttle Columbia to learners of her college in Chandigarh, Kalpana said, let us see what. The path from dreams to success does exist. May you have the vision to find it, the courage to get onto it, wishing you a great journey. There will surely be many who start off on this journey to fulfill their dreams. Kalpana Chawla's name will always light up the minds of such youth to achieve their dream. So now I am going to conduct an activity for all of you in which we will try to enhance the knowledge of words, we will try to enhance the vocabulary through some of the new words which have been used in this uh, chapter. So, let us go ahead for it. You have to match the phrases in the first column with the phrases carrying their correct meanings in the second column. Now, we will do the first three phrases first and then after that we will go for the next four on the next page. The first phrase is unprecedented space tragedy. Then we have certified flight instructor and then space mission. So, now children are you able to see or find their meanings here right in front of them or do you think that they are not there and they have been written somewhere else. Okay. Use your minds. I am giving you some time. Okay. Now, let me tell you the correct matches here. So, for the first one that is unprecedented space tragedy, the meaning is a sad accident of a kind that has never happened before in space. You see, unprecedented means never done or known before. It simply means that the world had never seen such a sad incident in the space before this one. Then we have the next phrase that is certified flight instructor. The meaning is a person with the correct qualification to teach people to fly planes. Now, here it talks about a certified flight instructor. It means there is a person who has the expertise and complete understanding of the mechanism or the working of a flight. The next phrase is space mission and the meaning of it is a set of jobs to be done in space by a group. After this, we have another four words or phrases to which I would like you to match their meanings. Let us go ahead with them. So, these are the next four phrases. The first one is 
super specialization the next one is encyclopedic knowledge o inspiring and the final word is in this age i'm giving you some time again to match these phrases with their correct meanings in front of them so now children let me tell you the meanings of these words and phrases the first phrase is super specialization its meaning is great expertise in a limited field or a particular subject the word itself is self explanatory as you know that anybody or anything that is super would have a great quality and knowledge so here the meaning of this phrase is great expertise in a limited field or a particular subject as kalpana chawla had a great expertise and knowledge in the area of aerospace engineering so i hope you have understood the meaning next one is encyclopedic knowledge the meaning of this phrase is having knowledge of a wide variety of subjects just like an encyclopedia children do you know the meaning of encyclopedia commonly encyclopedia is considered as a book which is often published in many volumes containing articles on various topics often arranged in alphabetical order dealing either with the whole range of human knowledge or a particular field like medical encyclopedia so a person who has encyclopedic knowledge is the one who has a very good knowledge on a particular topic or on a variety of subjects so this way we can understand that kalpana chawla also had an encyclopedic knowledge in order to become an astronaut the next phrase is o inspiring let's see where is the meaning so its meaning is something that causes feelings of respect and wonder this word has been used to refer to the achievements of kalpana chawla which are simply wonderful and they create feelings of respect and wonder in the hearts of the people to know about her the last phrase is in this age the meaning is nowadays or in these times it simply talks about the present times the place where this phrase is used in the chapter is when the writer talks about the kind of expertise and knowledge which is required to become an astronaut in these times or at present so after this wonderful story of kalpana chawla and after enhancing our knowledge of words now it is time for some home assignment there are some questions which uh, i have given as home assignment here right in front of the questions you can see that uh, in the bracket there is the information regarding the paragraph in which you will find the information required so i hope you will be able to find that information there the first question is where was kalpana chawla born why is she called an indian american the second question is when and why did she go to the us who did she marry who did she marry the third question is how did she become an astronaut how did she become an astronaut what gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut what gave her the idea that she could be an astronaut the next question is what abilities must an astronaut have according to the journalist 
what abilities must an astronaut have according to the journalist. Fifth question is describe Kalpana Chawla's first mission in space. Describe Kalpana Chawla's first mission in space. And the last question is what does Kalpana Chawla say about pursuing a dream? Do you agree with her that success is possible? What does Kalpana Chawla say about pursuing a dream? Do you agree with her that success is possible? The next assignment is a very creative one in which you have to find information from the newspaper report regarding the final voyage of Columbia, the final flight of Columbia after which it met the ill fate. So, the first information that you have to find out is regarding the date and place of its lift off. The second information is about the number of astronauts on board. On the third, you have to find out the number of days the spaceship stayed in the space. The fourth information is about the number of experiments done by the scientists, date of return journey and finally, you have to find information about the height at which the spaceship lost contact. So, based on the chapter, you have been given an assignment which you have to do at your home. I hope that you will be able to do it very well and you will enjoy doing it. Thank you very much.